Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Hello, Wayne. Morning, Susan. Hope you're all in the mood for love hearts and love and romance today. Mm. Hey, everybody. Just while we're waiting, the chat option, just make sure your drop down says everyone rather than hosts and panelists. And just make sure that if you have any questions, we pop them into the Q&A so we can make sure that we can answer them for you just at the very, very end. And just wait another moment or so. Okay, super, I'm going to hand over to Stephen as we start today's Romance in Tobago webinar. So Stephen, over to you. Thank you very much, Sarah. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good day to all of you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, today is focused on the beautiful island of Tobago um, with a romance sense and taste. So before I start, I'm going to just introduce my special guests. Um, today we have um, Eleanor Lewis, the Product Development and Destination Management Officer based in Paradise in Tobago. Following Eleanor, you will have Kerry Bartholomew, um, who is the UK representative for the Coco Reef Resort and Spa, one of our beautiful hotels in Tobago. And she will give you a little bit of an insight into her properties offerings. And in following Kerry, we have Sandy Sardina um, from Wed Tobago, who is one of our um, wedding, um, or should I say romance providers on island. Um, so she will give you a wonderful insight into um, all the, the locations and the cakes and the various bits and pieces that you can have um, in Tobago um, with a romance feel. Um, finally, we have Marsha Patrick, who won't, you won't see Marsha, but Marsha will be in the Q&A. So any questions you have throughout the presentation, Marsha will hopefully be able to find that answer for you or just answer it straight away. Um, so without further ado, only so much because we have a few speakers and I do want this presentation to, to finish within the hour, I shall start the presentation. Now, for those who've seen these presentations before or joined Tobago, you know that I always like to get everybody into the feel and vibe of what Tobago is all about. Yes, this is a romance um, focused presentation, but I just want to give you, for those who haven't seen it and for those who have before, a reminder of the key selling points and vibe that Tobago has to offer, so. It's only when I go abroad and I see what is out there and I come back and I measure against what is here, there is no comparison to me. Can you see the video? Some writings of our history, it is said that Christopher Columbus called it Bella Fauna, meaning beautifully formed. Natural, beautiful, peaceful. <laughs> Video is frozen, Stephen. Yes. Oh, is it frozen? That's what I'm waiting for. That's so. why I'm here. <laughs> One second. Isn't technology remarkable? We just did this about two minutes ago and everything worked perfectly. Okay, dokey. Let me see what we can do here. All right, please bear with me. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to start sharing again. Okay, so please bear with me. These wonderful technical issues often happen and they shouldn't do, but uh, they do often happen. Um. 
It's only when I go abroad and I see what is out there and I come back and I measure against what is here, there is no comparison to beauty. Some writings of our history, it is said that Christopher Columbus called it Bella Fauna, meaning beautifully formed. Natural, beautiful, peaceful. <laughs> yes, I get emotional. That's why I'm here. <laughs> One of the fascinating things about nature, there is always something new, and especially in the tropics where there's such wide diversity, persons can experience and have the awe associated with some of the beaches we have, aquatic life we have, some of the fascinating birds we have within a day, within a short period of time. You have the Caribbean Sea on one side, you have the Atlantic Ocean on the other side. On our doorstep, a fringe reef that wraps around the entire area. You have this huge amount of biodiversity and uh, you know, liveliness of the entire water that surrounds the island. We also do bioluminescent nighttime tours, which are like uh, an escape into the deep, dark secrets of this you know, glowing phenomenon. It's like this almost cosmic effect. It's just something to be seen. I know everybody in the village. <laughs> and everybody know me. That is the nice thing about here. Tobago as used to the extended family. There was always a grandmother, aunt, or uncle. There was always love. We eat and we drink, we laugh, and everything together. Tobago, in one word to me, beautiful. Beautiful place to live. It gives me great pleasure to be in Tobago and do what I do. The sunsets here are hardly bar none, some of the nicest I've seen. I would describe Tobago as one of the clean, serene, and the best place that anyone could come. Be easy, be happy, and have a good time. There is nothing to compare to. This little dot called Tobago exists, and come visit. Superb, wonderful. Hopefully you all saw that, and yes, you're all now in the... Oops, we won't do it again. No, we won't do it again. And you're all now in the in the mood for a little bit of Tobago. Now, normally I save this slide to, to the end, but I just wanted to um, um, make a, an announcement that very shortly, very soon, we will be launching an, an OTT Tobago um, online training program. So please write, make a note that very soon, very shortly, that will be something that we will need. We would like you guys to... Any, it's open to all travel staff, so we would love you to sort of... Um, enjoy and divulge and, and get stuck into our online, our brand new online training program coming very soon. And finally, we have our rewards program. So for all of you, please, any bookings at all to Tobago, please register them, register them on Tobago Rewards. There is a, um, there's a cash reward for any bookings at all to Tobago. So please don't forget that. So before I introduce you to the first guest speaker i just want to remind you guys of some key selling points with regards to tobago we'll start off with the map and where we are we're right at the very bottom of the crest of caribbean islands as you can see here um very very close to south america which has a couple of influences which i'll try and touch on and hopefully some of the other guests will touch on as the presentations proceed we are the republic of trinidad and tobago we are a two island state but the focus today is just on tobago but this map actually just highlights how close we are i think at the closest point i think it's down here is seven miles to venezuela so that's how close we are to that south american continent getting there uh, British Airways flies twice a week direct from London Gatwick. The service stops in St. Lucia, but passengers do not disembark um, to obviously Tobago. And they also fly three times a week to Port of Spain, direct to Port of Spain, where you can connect onwards with Caribbean Airlines. So there are quite a few different ways to actually get from the UK to Tobago. Um, 
I remember I remind, <laughs> reminded that with previous presentations, I, I have this slide and I forget to remind to um, to advise my international guests um, that there are other options in getting to Tobago. Um, for the UK guests, for the UK agents, sorry, there are still there is there is and those who prefer to travel on British on uh, Virgin Atlantic, um, they they are still offering um, interline um, connections via JFK and via Barbados to Tobago. So great opportunity for two centres there. Um, we know there's a seasonal chart. I believe it's over the winter months, but uh, you can check with uh, Marsha on the chat. Um, there is a, a seasonal charter from Toronto to Tobago. Um, KLM offer um, services three times a week um, to Port of Spain, again, offering that connection with um, Caribbean Airlines. Um, and obviously, um, the key thing about that is regional flights from the UK who don't want to or can't come via the, via, via the London hub can then fly, um, fly via um, Amsterdam and connect with the KLM service. There are United services from Houston to Port of Spain. Uh, again, connecting with Caribbean Airlines and Caribbean Airlines offers up to 12 rotations per day. So it is, and it's a 20 minute flight. So it's practically a bus service between Port of Spain and uh, Tobago. So very, very easy. It's not another sort of an hour trek. Um, so nice and easy. So getting to Tobago, still always very, very easy. One of the key questions always asked is when's the best time to go? And I'm sure some of you have already put that into the question, into the, into the questions and answers. Basically, we see Tobago as an all year round destination. As I pointed out before, we sit underneath the hurricane belt. So during, we only have two seasons, the dry season, which is the first half of the year from about December through to about April, May, and then the wet season from May all the way through to November. Now, if anyone knows, been to the Caribbean, they'll know that wet season is short, heavy showers. We don't have a monsoons like the other parts, certain parts of the world where it rains for months on end. It is short, heavy showers. So you can easily, and in fact, most of my trips to the Caribbean have been over those summer months. We sit un underneath the hurricane belt, so we don't get troubled by them on an annual basis. Average temperatures, 30 degrees year round. And one of the key things, many reasons why traveling year round is, is definitely feasible is because we have so many different activities festivals, events, sports activities throughout the whole year. So yes, Tobago is a year-round destination. When's the best time? It's when your passengers want to travel. That's the best time. Finally, I just want to take you on a quick journey around the island of Tobago. Um, from the bottom left-hand side, this is where the airport is, up to this area here, which is Speyside. It takes about an hour and a half on a bad day. OK, so it's only 25 miles by seven at its widest point. It's not a huge island. OK, but we have tons and tons and tons of different things for you to do and see. So, um, after Eleanor, you'll be joined by Kerry, who will be talking about the Cocoa Reef and Resort and Spa, which is down in this southern western tip. And then after Kerry, we'll be joined by Wed Tobago, who are based in Scarborough, the capital. Um, but obviously we'll be able to feature the whole island. But just if we start off in the southwest area here, this is where you'll find Crown Point, which is where on a Friday night, Saturday night, that's where the hubbub, the noise and nightlife would happen. Um, if you could just see number two here is Pigeon Point Heritage Park, which if you remember that previous little video you just saw there, the little clip, that was over the Pigeon Point Heritage Park. Lots of water sports, um, activities, it's a beautiful, beautiful beach area, perfect for relaxing or not, depending on what you want. Um, it's the starting point to the bioluminescence experience. Remember the video on the video, we, we spoke about the bioluminescence. That happens, if you can see my arrow, just in this little area here, which is the Bonacord Lagoon. And so you just take a kayak or stand up paddleboard from Pigeon Point all the way over there and circumnavigate that area. Absolutely incredible, very, very beautiful. If any of your customers are staying in this region here or just visiting on a, of an evening, this during the season between March and September is where the great leatherback tur turtles nest. So and again, a fantastic experience if you're in the vicinity at that right time of year. And then if, as we journey further up around the island, you'll come to some gorgeous, beautiful, authentic, and that's where this word authentic comes from, but unspoilt, Castara Bay with Castara Village, Palais Touvier, again, and just another village, no super hotels or resorts there, Englishman's Bay, with just literally one bar, which becomes a rest, which has a restaurant and has a gift shop on it. That is all there is on this gorgeous, beautiful, stunning two mile stretch of beach. Um, it's village life, 
When you journey away from that Southwest area, you come to village life, that authentic, down to earth, real Caribbean experience. Over here in Charlottesville, um, they have um, coral research facility um, in that area here. Over here in Speyside, you have amazing dive diving available, particularly around this northern coast. There's actually diving down in the southern western area as well, but all around here is amazing diving as well as incredible bird watching um, with Little Tobago, um, uh, which is a bird sanctuary now right here. So birders can go over there. And then as we come round, we have Kings Bay, a gorgeous unspoilt beach on the east coast. So normally we talk about the, the beaches on the Caribbean coast, but we also have some amazing spots on our east coast. We end up come around to Roxburgh around here, and then you have the Argyle Waterfalls, which is a stunning three-tiered waterfall, which I'm sure one of the one of my guests will, will mention during the presentation, um, as well as the Tobago Cocoa Estate, where you can find out about our cocoa heritage. But just going back to waterfalls, you'll see these little dots here. We we are absolutely blessed with some gorgeous, beautifully, easily accessible waterfalls. So again, with that slight romance feel and vibe beautiful locations for people to either have weddings or just photo shoots easily accessible um, um, and easily available around Tobago and finally the last thing I will point out is the Emerald Spine of Tobago the Main Ridge Forest Reserve it's UNESCO listed the oldest protected rainforest in the western hemisphere again perfect nature trekkers bird watchers walkers um, even if, you, if you're a little bit more vigorous, a little bit more energetic, you've got mountain biking there. So yeah, a beautiful green emerald spine um, covers this whole st stretch of Tobago. And then as you journey back around, you end up in the capital Scarborough. We have the restaurants and the historical forts um, and shopping available there. So loads of different things and flavors and tastes that you can have in Tobago. Um, and yes, because we have my guests, um, and really I want you to hear from my guests more than me, that is it for my little, my little brief introduction to our wonderful, beautiful island. So without further ado, I would like um, Eleanor to unmute herself and uh, introduce and say hello, so I know that she's ready. Hi, I'm ready, Stephen. You are ready. Hello, Eleanor. I shall, yes. um, at your bequest, I shall change over slide to slide oh sorry do you want to thank start you. with this one yes of course thank you okay oops sorry don't know what happened there Hi everyone, I'm delighted to provide you with a brief overview of the exciting updates, offerings and current trends on our beautiful island. Tobago is situated at the southern end of the Caribbean island and is known for its unspoiled un and untouched beauty where the undiscovered awaits you around every corner. What's exciting about Tobago is that it's a destination that has endless activities and experience and experiences, earning us a reputation as a place of 100 things to do, as highlighted, as extensively highlighted by Stephen. 
whether you are nature lover, a culture enthusiastic and adventurer, or simply looking to relax on our beaches, Tobago has something to offer for everyone. We are, prou we are proud of our diverse ecosystem with one of the most prized natural treasures, the Main Ridge Forest Reserve, which is highlighted in the green, in the green circle. This was declared the oldest protected rainforest in the hemis Western Hemisphere. Our marine system are equally captivating and Tobago boasts for one of the largest brain coral formation in the Caribbean, making it a paradise for snorkelers and divers. Our annual heritage festival is a must-see and featuring reenactments of the old time wedding, dancing, games we used to play, folklore storytelling, and transports us into things that we used to do in the olden days. Why is Tobago special for weddings? Tobago has the perfect canvas. Thank you. Tobago has the perfect canvas for all life's romantic moments. Tobago offers a diverse range of natural, man-made landscape that provides a stunning backdrop for wedding. From our beaches to historical forts and monumental attractions, such as the new addition of I Love You Tobago, I Love Tobago sign in the Scarborough capital. It even offers couples a wide array of picturesque settings and making photo ops for romantic moments from wedding ceremony truly captivating. Great weather. Next, thank you. Great weather. The island has a great year-round weather from dry season as highlighted, which is the hottest season and the rainy season, which is really cool. We are all, Tobago is also situated under the hurricane belt and has minimum impact during the hurricane season, which is great for us. Also the picture here, the, um, it, it strips the, the nylon pool that was used this year. This um, really truly amazing picture was taken this year with a wedding party having their wedding on the nylon pool. Expert wedding and event planners for best folk event. Tobago has a pool of expert wedding and event planners who can help couple create best folk and memorable events. We are currently rolling out a database collection drive that would build the listing of service providers. And this would simplify the planning process for couples that want to engage providers on their own. Exotic and adventurous experiences. Tobago offers ecstatic and, ex and adventurous experiences that, that can be incorporated into weddings and honeymoons. Couples, for instance, can use horses as part of their wedding ceremony to explore the island natural beauty through outdoor activities, adding a unique and adventurous touch to the special day. Um, the picture here illustrates the, the couple, this couple using the provider healing with horses that they are fantastic fantastic job with the kind of with this kind of experience quick marriage process in the marriage regulation tobago allows couples to get married on the island in just 24 hours of arrival which makes this which makes the destination wedding in tobago highly accessible and convenient for couples and who want to tie the knot without having an extensive waiting period. New trends. Tobago is also seeking emerging trends in the romantic honeymoon and engagement opportunities. Romantic proposal celebration is on, is on rise amongst Gen X and popular, and popular as well are the millennial couples who seek unique and meaningful ways to renew their vows, using iconic sites and attractions, providing outdoor experience that are appealing to couples and looking for a distinctive wedding and engagement setting. Wedding experiences would Wedding experiences, sunset wedding. Sunset wedding are becoming increasingly popular. The requirement of the wedding ceremony needs to be officiated by 9 p.m. That adds that adds a time constraint, but it's 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 really breathtaking and beautiful, you know, for couples to exchange their vows under the sunset, which creates a beautiful backdrop. The historical themes, historical weddings, and 
at historical sites like old sugar mill ruins, Fort Estate seems to create great waves for new couples that are celebrating a special day. This location also has a rustic and charming atmosphere and many couples find it appealing. The traditional, traditional themes such as the old time wedding, um, we Tobagonians have a rich cultural influence that is embodied into our daily lives. And the Tobago festival is held throughout the month of July in Tobago. And one of the offerings is the old time weddings held in the village of Mariah. Um, this picture illustrates really demonstrates a millennium couple having their photo, having their photo, photo which incorporated the old time wedding procession with the original Mariah Village community members, some of them. Our new product offerings. We are we are an addition, we have an additional about 74 rooms, new additional of 74 rooms um, on the island with the newly open comfort in. Um, they provide a meeting room, rooftop, rooftop um, pool, terrace restaurant, which can accommodate about 25, 125 persons. And they have a bath, spa, and also additional amenities. Uh, in, from today, my experience in, in today, in summary, Tobago has natural beauty, favorable climate, experienced wedding planner, and unique experiences, which make this attract this make this attractive destination for wedding honeymoons and engagement celebrations, a stunning last landscape with rich cultural heritage, creating well unforgettable like, memories for couples. You can email me to get more information at elois at tobagotourism.org. Thank you, everyone, and do have a pleasant day. Bye. Thank you very much, Eleanor. Thank you very, very much. Um, so now, um, without further ado, I do believe it is uh, Kerry. I, uh, can I have Kerry? By the way, if you do have any questions, please put them in the Q&A um, for Eleanor. And what we'll do is at the very end, um, as long as we, you, we, we will go through any questions for Kerry, any questions for Eleanor, and any questions for Sandy. All right, so put them all in the Q&A. If, if Marsha can't answer it now, then um, my special guests will be able to answer it at the end. So Kerry, so Eleanor, if you could put yourself on mute and Kerry, if you can come on live and tell me that you are ready to go. I'm all good, thank you. Thanks You're very much for the good. introduction, Stephen, and great Excellent. to have your presentation, Eleanor, as well. So um, for um, everyone that's on the webinar, many of you have recognised lots of names. I'm Kerry from Clear Marketing, and we're the UK representatives of Coco Reef Resort and Spa in Tobago. So um, moving on then, Stephen, just by way of an introduction, um, so Coco Reef Resort and Spa is, um, Stephen's already mentioned this, in terms of our location, we are less than a mile from the international airport. So once you've done that, um, trans once you've flown over to Tobago, it literally takes you a couple of minutes to get to the hotel. So, I mean, it's it's, it's not even a short transfer. It's, it's blink and you miss it. So in terms of the hotel itself, now Coco Reef Resort and Spa is probably the most famous resort on Tobago and um, definitely one of the most well-known. I would say that it's um, more on the higher end. Not that, you know, one of, one of the beauties of Tobago is that there aren't any kind of large, big hotel chains and it is still very traditional and authentic Caribbean. So, you know, you don't get the big chains. There isn't anything that's ultra modern. Um, so we really just kind of embrace that. Moving on then, Stephen, this will just give you a bit of an idea of the look and the feel of Coco Reef. We're a small hotel, 135 rooms, very traditional in our style. But when you arrive at the hotel, it really feels quite um, opulent because you arrive at the hotel, there's these golden gates. You go up this beautifully manicured driveway. There's a Rolls Royce parked outside the hotel. Not that it really gets used anymore. It's a little bit more for decoration than anything. Um, but it feels opulent without being tacky. 10 acres of beautifully landscaped tropical gardens. There's lots of bird life around the property. And the reason that I wanted to join this presentation today is because, you know, the, the, the team are doing a great job at showcasing Tobago as a destination. So I really just wanted to offer um, a hotel, you know, offer whether you're coming to stay for a destination wedding, is a honeymoon, or you can have romantic holidays with children involved as well. So kind of that's what I'm here for. Moving on, please. Um, we are fortunate enough to be located on our own, the, um, our own private stretch of beach, Coco Reef. So we have 
it's a fantastic beach it's a crescent shaped beach beautiful golden sand and one of the things that I love about it is it's a private lagoon so it's like a walled lagoon the water's really shallow it's very warm there's there's loads of fish I'm going to show you some of my family holidays as we move on as well so if you have got guests that want a beach destination then you are located right on the beach here at Coco Reef either side of the resort so we are in a great location whilst we do bed and breakfast as standard we do also offer all inclusive not that you need it though you definitely don't need to be all inclusive when you're in this part of the island there are dozens of bars and restaurants within walking distance and two of those famous beaches which Stephen mentioned before we have store bay immediately next door to us now i always recommend that our guests go out of there you go out of the hotel you turn right you walk to store bay literally a couple of minutes it's like a little local village of arts and crafts and food, food huts. You cannot go to Store Bay without having crab and dumpling. That is my definite tip for you, the best food. And you can eat for about $10. It's, you know, it's very inexpensive. Then we have Pigeon Point to the east. Moving on, please. So these are the holiday photos I was talking to you about. So whilst this is a great romantic hotel, and I know that is the theme um, of today, it's really great for families as well. This is me when I was here with my eldest son. He was only three at the time. And I think one of the reasons that we love the hotel, aside from the quality of the service, the experience, is that beach. Well, it, I don't know if I'm safe to say, but probably nowhere else in the Caribbean can you get a private beach like this. So my son would go out in the morning, he would take breakfast rolls um, from the restaurant, sprinkle the, the bread rolls into the into the ocean, and there'd, there'd be dozens of fish all around you. And you, you, you cannot get experiences like that everywhere. Um, new, hot off the press, and again, I know that this is a fact, this is a romance theme, but you know, couples do travel with children as well. We have just opened a brand new kids club. It literally opened last month. So many of you that might be on the webinar, if you're looking to sell to families, you know, aside from the romance theme, please do bear us in mind as well. It just opened, and one of the great things is for children age three upwards as well. Now the accommodation itself, I said 135 rooms, we are right on the beach, we have got a freshwater pool, uh, and you can see the ocean from the pool. We do complimentary non-motorised water sports, and we do have a new general manager who joined the team this year, and one of the first things that he did was bought brand new sun lounges and brand new water sports equipment, so everything is new. So you can do sea kayaking, you do stand up paddle boards, um, and pedalos and things like that. So non-motorised water sports are included. We can organise deep sea fishing and we have got a dive centre directly from our beach as well. Now, in terms of the look and feel of the resort, as I have already said, it is traditional in its style. You do have these terracotta tiles and these peach coloured walls really um, unusual artwork on the walls but what I do say is that when you stay at Coco Reef you know you are going to see lots of floral um, and if we move along to the next slide I think that's one that has some of the room shots on it um, oh no sorry this is our this is our lobby um, you, this kind of floral that you can see on the cushions that is kind of evident throughout so you do have the floral kind of bedspread that matches the curtains matches the cushions but I always kind of say look beyond the bedspread because you know it's really comfortable and whilst it is traditional in style I think sometimes people look at a brochure and think oh that looks dated but it's not it's all new it's very in keeping with the style and yeah look beyond the bedspread is what I would say we do complimentary afternoon tea live entertainment every evening and with Paul the new general manager a beach barbecue there's live music it's really buzzy there's lots going on and this is the typical look and feel of the accommodation. Many of the rooms have two queen beds. We can offer interconnecting um, and we have some with amazing ocean views as well. For your um, more, um, for, sorry, for your returning guests or people that are celebrating, if they're celebrating a honeymoon, perhaps do let us know because what we can do is we actually personalise the name of the room for the guests. So this was us um, when we, we went back on our holiday and the resort actually named the suite after us. Now, also for your um, couples that are traveling together for weddings or honeymoons, I do recommend the Sunset Villa. So we do have um, a villa, which is um, on, on resort villa. You don't have to cater for yourself. You obviously enjoy the resort facilities, but that's definitely the room type here. 
We have got two restaurants. So whilst I say we are breakfast inclusive, there's two restaurants. This is Tamara's, which is where they serve breakfast and dinner. What I would say is that the food is exceptional here and some of the dinners have exceeded that of um, meals that I've had at amazing five-star hotels. So the food's incredible in Tobago. Onto the next slide, you'll see um, Bacchanals, which is open for lunch. Um, it's open for lunch and snack. This is our bar right on the beach. And both of the restaurants do serve kids' menus as well. Now onto the romance, um, we do have quite a lot of proposals here at Coco Reef because naturally it feels quite romantic when you arrive at the hotel and particularly when you're coming from the UK where you've had that long haul flight and you're not arriving until late afternoon. When you walk through that lobby, you can see the sunset, you can see the beach. Stephen's got some amazing photos of those dramatic sunsets and it's so beautiful that it just um, makes people you know, feel loved up. So we do have um, proposals here. Janelle and the special events team are amazing at doing that. If you're celebrating a honeymoon or an anniversary, we can um, make your room lovely and romantic for you as well. When it comes to destination weddings, again, Janelle is incredible. Um, she, if you do book a wedding at this resort, you know, you're definitely in safe hands. Just let her know exactly the type of look and feel of wedding that you would like and that can all be catered for whether you want to have it on the deck or on the beach or in the gardens of the resort. Of course we can do um, wedding receptions as well we've got several different spaces again if it's a small and intimate if you just want to have some private dining in a cabana on the beach set back in the gardens have a special table set up in one of the restaurants or there is a larger facility if you are selling for group weddings as well. And um, this is new, so we haven't done this for a long time. So it's, it, our free wedding offer has just returned. So if you book seven nights or more at Coca Reef Resort and Spa, you do receive your wedding for free. And as you can see from this list, that is all of the things that you would need really for your wedding. It's your wedding cake, a bottle of bubbly, your bouquet, your buttonholes, and also to take you to the registry office, the service of the minister, and all of the legal documentation as well. That will be bookable through any of the tour operators that you guys um, work with, whether you're UK, US, Europe, Canada, wherever that is worldwide now. So um, that was really just a little bit of a snapshot to tell you a bit about the resort, whether it is for destination weddings, for honeymoons, just for couples or for families. Please do recommend Coco Reef Resort and Spa for your guests. And we do look forward to welcoming you to celebrate love with us at Coco Reef. Any questions, please ask me in the chat or the Q&A and uh, thank you very much for your time. Perry, thank you very much. That was wonderful. Really, really wonderful. I need, I need some of those flyers for the uh, free wedding, for the wedding show. It's just crossed my mind. Yes, I need some oh. of those. That's wonderful. Brilliant, wonderful offer. Well, now we're on to our third, my third special guest. My third special guest for this presentation is Sandy. Sandy, please, could you um, turn on your mic so I know that you're, avail you're available and Kerry, I can see you yeah. muted. Sandy, are you there? I am. Excellent, wonderful. Please prompt me when you need the next slide, just as <laughs> Kerry did, that would help. Um, sure. And uh, away we begin. So hello everyone, I'm Sandy from Wed to Bagel and Wed to Bagel presents fall in love with a Tobago wedding. Stephen, you can go to the next slide. So basically we know that your guests are looking for someone reliable, someone who will understand their vision, someone who can maximize their budget, take care of all their details and ultimately provide for them a stress-free wedding. So I'm going to invite you now to sit back, relax, and enjoy this clip of a taste of romance in Tobago.
all right. <laughs> so that was an absolutely gorgeous wedding here in Tobago, which would kind of fall into the full beachside soiree category. Um, that was real bride Ananda and groom Riaz captured by Rink Films. So here at Wet Tobago, we can take care of your destination wedding needs from a full beachside soiree to an intimate wedding or romantic elopement. We got it all covered just for you and for your clients. Next slide, please, Stephen. That would include pre and post wedding events. And as in the case of that wedding that we just saw there, um, there is need for some support services and support events, such as rehearsal dinners, after wedding brunches, um, island tours, golf and immersive spa therapy. We've got everything that you need. Next slide, Stephen. And love is always in season in Tobago, whether it's the rainy season, the dry season, the weather is usually fine and it isn't the only thing that's hot, hot, hot. We've got some fantastic honeymoon packages, vacation packages, featuring things like massages on the beach, floating breakfast at your private villa, and couple cooking classes. Hello, Sandy. Oh, there. Sandy, we ca I can't hear you. Uh, I'm back. Are you hearing yes. me? Okay. Uh, hear me now? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, we can hear you now. Go on. All right. Okay. So we have an A team of service providers and we work with some consummate professionals to ensure that your clients' weddings will be exactly what they are looking for. And some of those service providers would include cake artisans. So whether they're looking for buttercream or fondant, traditional rum cake or lemon raspberry filling, they can have their cake and eat it too. <laughs> Stephen, next slide. Uh, with regards to hair and makeup, we have stylists that can do updos, mermaid braids, where the guest or the bride can beat the heat and have beach hair, I don't care. With regards to decor, um, we know that most couples begin planning from the moment they say, I do. And for that reason, we are ready to bring their vision to life, whether it is from Pinterest, magazines or original, you know, original um, things that they can conceive, we're ready to bring it to life. Yeah, that cake is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with regards to florals, whether it's classic whites, um, tropical flowers on the island provide so many opportunities to produce florals like these or even if it's more vibrant colors, next slide please, Stephen. If it's vibrant colors and ravishing hues, we have the blooms to make any bride and bridesmaid smile. You can see here we have a lovely garden set up at Pigeon Point Heritage Park. With regard to food, the key word here is fresh. In Tobago, we have the ability of creating that farm to table experience. Um, it's something that we do. We are able to mix the familiar with the traditional cuisine on the island and the results are simply delicious. And with regards to bar services, we're able to offer mocktails, cocktails, and all sorts of rum and wine libations that will get the party started. With regards to entertainment, I think this guy that is featured here on my slide is Kishon Julian. 
And one of his catchphrases, uh, bring the vibes, because that's what he does. Um, Tobago is full of a rich culture, and most times, either in the cocktail hour or the reception, you would find steel pan music or tassa drums or African drums, or as in this picture, stilt walkers or mukujambis. But, you know, whatever it is, we're able to get the party started. It's not odd to see that a fabric napkin all of a sudden becomes the thing that they're waving in the air and just really having a fantastic time. Next slide, please, Stephen. So basically that's what we do at Wed Tobago with over 22 years experience. We have the knack for bringing it all together, pulling all the elements together and allowing for your guests to have a stress-free wedding day where they can just rock back, relax and enjoy it all. Next slide, please, Stephen. So without further ado, I'm gonna give you some insight into the top three most requested venues on the island when it comes to weddings. So coming in at number three, we'll find that most couples are looking for something that is unique. In this case here, we have the mangroves at Tobago plantations. And whether it is that they do an actual ceremony here, or just opt to take portraits, this provides a wonderful opportunity. Next slide, please, Stephen. So looking for out of the box um, options in Tobago, Tobago has a rich heritage and a historic one at that. So there are lots of relics such as forts, which once again, persons can have their ceremony at the fort or sometimes they just opt to go there for portraits afterwards. Nature provides a beautiful backdrop and does the rest. Um, in the middle of this picture, you'd see how some couples opt to have an intimate wedding um, where they may do the ceremony and reception at a, at a restaurant. And in this case, this was at the Seahorse. So coming in at number two, we have villas and hotels. And Tobago has an impressive range, as you would have seen from Kerry's display at the Coco Reef Resort. Um, a lot of them are full of Caribbean style and fretwork, and some of them, like this one, has a Balinese gazebo. This is the garden that is newly installed at Ohana Villa. And we have partnered with a lot of the hotels on the island to provide some packages that offer a range of amenities as well as varying price points. So, you know, we, we can meet the needs of most couples. The name of this villa is Ohana Villa. Stephen, we can move on to the next slide. So as you see here, we can take care of multicultural and multi-denominational weddings. Um, the first clip shows um, a wedding taking place at the Bamboo Hollows at Mount Suivin Bay Resort. The middle clip is an impressive picture of a bride at the bay window at Magdalena Grand. And once again, a couple looking at each other adoringly at the beautiful Ohana Villa. But a lot of the, the weddings um, that take place in the hotels and villas are able to take advantage of lush gardens or even um, air-conditioned ballrooms. And coming in at number one, probably with no surprise to any of you, are beach weddings. And that's probably because they provide some really impressive backdrops from the glistening ocean to the swaying palm trees to shell lined aisles, you name it, the beach wedding is still the number one most requested venue for weddings here in Tobago. Steve, our next slide. Here we have a couple at the beach at Stonehaven. 
after having a wedding at Tobago, um, at the plantation beach villa, sorry. In the middle, we have Mount Haven Bay Resorts, gorgeous beach with that wide expanse of ocean in the background and the iconic Pigeon Point. Most couples really love that beach. At Pigeon Point, you have the Heritage Pavilion that also allows for you to have um, your wedding reception inside an air-conditioned um, facility. Beach Wedding Bliss. This is a gorgeous picture here at No Man's Land that was set for an intimate wedding here in Tobago. And you can move on to the next slide, Stephen. And there are a lot of things to do here in Tobago as well, whether it is you know, activities for guests or couples just wanting to do things together. Um, Tobago offers so many options from golf to water sports. There's Claire, kayaks to the healing with horses, horseback riding, and just, you know, wonderful opportunities to immerse yourself in the food and the cuisine of the island. If you're a foodie, then that's definitely going to be something that you're going to enjoy doing here in Tobago. What we're working on right now at Wed Tobago and introducing to you for the first time here is our island tour. This clever play on words. Your couples have said yes, and we are ready to kickstart the next chapter of their love story. And with our island tour, we find that most destination couples like to come to Tobago at some point in time during the planning process of their wedding, whether it's at the beginning or somewhere in the middle, just to ensure, I mean, they, they are organizing this from miles away. So they want to ensure that everything is being done and organized in the way that they're going to have their best day ever. And what our tour allows for is the ability to explore venues and to sample and savor various culinary delights that they can have on their big day. So basically just ensuring that they have the most stress-free experience possible. Next slide, please, Stephen. So at Wet Tobago, we have curated some fabulous packages from, you know, cozy B&Bs to luxury villas to beachfront properties. We have honeymoon packages that include seven days bed and breakfast, ceremony arch, bouquets, mini cake, um, champagne, romantic dinner for two, couples massage, and a daily virtual concierge, as well as airport and beach transfers. We invite them to honeymoon in paradise. But apart from that, we also have um, packages at luxury hotels and luxury villas that basically encompass all of those things, as well as wedding coordination services. And then we don't forget those who just want to get away and escape, you know, escape from it all and just come to the island and experience an intimate wedding or an elopement. And for those packages, we also offer seven day bed and breakfast inclusive of a lot of those amenities that I would have mentioned previously. And with these packages, we're also able to include a lot of customized services, um, which we tailor to the um, likes of the couple, whether it is a hike in the main ridge or a romantic dinner for two on the beach. Um, you know, we, we, we are able to organize a truly romantic experience for them. Next slide. So that's it. Basically, in a nutshell, we invite you to fall in love with Tobago. We invite you to introduce your clients to Tobago, have them visit Tobago, and allow us to bring their wedding vision as well as their romantic excursions to life. If you're looking to get in touch with me, you'll find me at the National Wedding Show 
as I have the honor of accompanying the Tobago Tourism Agency in London on the 14th to 15th of October, and we will be at stand J20. So if you need to find out about any more information on our packages that we offer or anything regarding Tobago and the Romance niche, you can find us at the National Wedding Show on the 14th and 15th of October. To further reach out to me, if you have any questions, uh, you can reach out to me on sandy at wedtobago.com. I have my telephone contact listed as well. And we're also on social media at Wed to Bagel. I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to have been able to showcase to be good to you in this regard. And I look forward to welcoming you and to serving your clients in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sandy. Oops, no, we won't have that. Thank you very, very much. Um, now um, it's over to, um, Back to Sarah. Sarah, you need to come back online um, for some questions and answers. And you also have your little quiz thing that you do. I do indeed, Stephen. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I'm loving all the love hearts that have been floating around during the presentation. Yeah, so that's been lovely. You, lovely to see. <laughs> um, we've just got a couple of questions. So um, Melinda has asked, she's got a couple that is planning for 200 guests for the wedding in 2025, somewhere lively and fun. Any suggestions? Um, 200 guests? Yeah, so it's going to have okay. to be a big hotel. Well, not necessarily, because they can actually stay at the hotels quite nearby. So um, what I would suggest is, um, is it Melissa, did you say? Melinda. Melinda. If Melinda can email me um or actually to, to what why why contact me when you've got sandy there who can who organizes this um if you, if you've got sandy's contact he says contact sandy sandy will be able to make suggestions about where the where the the guests can stay where they can actually have the wedding um lively area you're probably looking at that southwestern area that southwestern tip around the Cocoa Reef area, because that's that's where you've got, uh, particularly on a Friday Saturday, that's where you've got all the hubbub and the, and the vibe going on. Um, but yeah, I, I would suggest contacting Sandy um, and uh, Sandy will be able to assist, I think. Sandy, okay. let me know if you can't. <laughs> I'm sure you can though. Or if not, you can just do a buyout at Cocoa Reef and you can take the whole hotel. <laughs> I'm sure Kerry would be would appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sure Kerry would appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Super, thank you. Um, do you offer LGBTQ plus weddings? Sandy? At this time, I don't think that that is an offering um, on the island. Okay, no problem. Normally as well, like they'll they'll do, um, they don't have the licenses to do like an official wedding, but they'll do Correct. Um, a so, blessing. So if it's, so, um, if it's if it's like a renewal uh, or, or a recommitment type, but not to have the full um, licensing legal. and such yeah. done here. Yeah, that's pretty normal in a, in a lot of a lot of islands. Um, so, so Neil, if um, they're already married or they can get married um, locally and then come to have the celebration, the party, the everything else, um, there's a possibility. Um, Marguerite has asked, how much is an island tour coming in at, please, Sandra? Sorry, what was it? Really? How, what was, how much is an island tour? How much is the Isla, Isle Land tour oh. coming in at, please, Sandra? Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. So it really depends. I'm actually planning, once they book with me, it is it will be complimentary. Um, so once they actually do book with me, which I'm sure they will, it's actually going to be a complimentary tour. Okay, super. Thank you very much. Okay, that's the end of the questions because I know Marsha has been busy behind the scenes answering lots and lots of questions. Um, Adele, you're asking for Sandy's contact. Don't worry. Tomorrow morning, um, very, very early, uh, we'll be sending out the full recording and everybody's contact details as well. So you'll be able to just drop an email um, and get the recording and any information that you need on there. Okay, so 
we get to the end of the day then where we test you. So Stephen, do you have a question for me? Um, before you do, if everybody can go to chat and make sure your drop down says everyone. So Stephen, today um, we've got two, two questions. Kerry, you have got a prize that you're giving away, which is your £50 voucher. And Stephen, mm -hmm. you've got your £50, $60 voucher um, or gift bag. You can choose if you if you're in the UK, you can choose a goodie bag or the voucher. If you're in the US or Canada or Europe, it would be your voucher. So if everybody can go to chat, make sure your drop down says everyone. So as a reminder, everybody on the webinar gets a prize draw entry. If you answer a question correctly, you get 10 prize draw entries. Tomorrow I put you all in a spin to win, and the computer tells me who's the winner. So, Stephen, if you can fire away, please, with your first question. Okay, my first and only question, and it's actually quite a little tricky one. You have to have been paying attention to what I was saying about an hour ago, but who can remember what the area was called where you could do the bioluminescence? It was a lagoon. That's the only tip I'm going to give you. I can see my, my Tobagonian sisters smiling away because they all know. <laughs> Pigeon Point, no, that's not it. No, what else are they saying? That's hard to actually have to know the name. Oh, of the oh, lagoon. oh, I think somebody's got it right. Oh, oh, oh. I can see Bon Accord Lagoon there. Is that the correct is that's the correct answer? Well, so that's whoever did that. whoever's put the Bon Accord um, Lagoon first. Stephen. Hello. I'm not sure if I'm correct, but that looks like a stakeholder. That looks like a stakeholder. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Look, thank you, guys. Thank you, my, my Tobagonian family, for joining this presentation. And I'm sure it's really... <laughs> but these questions and these prizes are for the international guys who don't know the island. <laughs> okay, yeah, don't worry. I think, I think some of them are coming after. Yeah. Yeah, Follow so very, you... very shortly. I've got Celine. So... Celine, okay, thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad we've got some locals. Great. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, so Kerry, um, what is your question, please? Um, I've only just thought of one, actually. So I mentioned about when you go um, to Coco Reef, when you go up the driveway, you're greeted by something that's gold. Does anyone remember what that is? Not the gates. Past the gates. And Stephen, you're not, you're not included. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh people were listening i can see all okay. the <laughs> yes. was it the rolls royce it was a gold rolls royce yes okay super so um wayne was the first person with the correct answer great and i don't super. think wayne is based in tobago so <laughs> <laughs> we're good <laughs> Excellent. So, um, Celine and Wayne, you've got your 10 entries. I will let you know tomorrow who the winners are. Um, a big thank you to Stephen, Eleanor, Marsha, Sandy, Kerry for the super amazing presentations today. Um, the completely trade friendly are the team at um, Tobago and beyond. Um, so any of your support is very, very welcome and they will support you back. They have the rewards program. They're keen for webinars. Um, so anything that you need, please let them know. Um, thank you everybody for attending. Sorry we've overrun, but you should know by now that this is what always happens with Stephen. He likes to chat. <laughs> oh, one more thing, one more thing. Oh. Don't forget, take a note of the online training program, which will be starting really, really soon. We want your support. And that will cover lots of things that you've heard today, as well as tons and tons of other stuff all about our wonderful island, the scuba diving, the rainforest, the bird watching, water sports, everything. So please, please mark it down. It's not available right now, but give it a couple of weeks and it will be become live and then go for it, please. Thank you very much. And, and I'd like to say thank you, Sarah, again for, for um, managing this and keeping us within some sort of time frame. Really, really appreciate it. <laughs> No problem. And Stephen, you're going to send the link out for the training when you do your follow up to everybody. You'll indeed. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Okay. Indeed. Not Super. a problem. Super amazing. Well, thank you, everybody. Thanks, team. And we'll see you all. We've got a webinar tomorrow. So if you're available, come and join us for Fun in the Sun. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank Excellent. you very much. Loving bye -bye Tobago. Bye bye from everyone. We'll do thank the love you. heart.
Okay, we'll do the love hearts. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. bye everybody. Bye, bye. <laughs>